Hello everyone, welcome to another video by Shadow Reviews, and today we're going to be building another one of my Bioformer mocks. Today we're going to be building Liwa, or more specifically Golden Liwa, continuing with my Golden Toa. So uh, let's get started with the uh, main torso and stuff. So, you're going to take one of these bodies, well, actually, let's start with the bottom. So, silver feet. Alright, now let's continue. So, you're going to take uh, two of these, snap that in, just like so. We're going to take one of these, put a friction extender on it, and snap it on. And this mock is kind of simple, but uh, you have to keep in mind when building anything or just, you know, like looking at, you know, just transformers or figures or, you know, just some things like toy, toy things. I'm talking about toy related stuff. Like some things with toys, you have to remember that sometimes simple is like a good way to go. It can be just really nice stuff if done right. So then now you can attach them to the body, which like I showed you is that body, the smaller Hero Factory frame, or just CCBS frame now, I guess. Um, just like that. So for the armor, you can take a five long silver shell, and a gold bionicle armor part, and come on. Just like that. And that will be the shin armor, and it will face towards the front, leaving the back of his leg totally exposed. But who cares? So, just like that. There you go. You can take two of these green, Leo green armor shells and snap them on right here. Just like that. There you have his legs. Now, for his, uh, where, do you, where do you usually go after this point with a, you know, kind of build? Well, I don't really care how the maps do it. Let's, uh, take this head. With the uh, trans green eye stock, snap that on. Simple as that. So let's create a chest. So first of all, I'm going to take two golden, three long armor cells and snap them onto these ball joints, just like that. Just kind of you know, angle with them, try to get them the same. But don't fiddle with that too long. I've learned that with this mock, um, you'll probably fiddle with these the most. I mean, it's not a review, but just letting you know. But uh, let's move on. Snap, put the mess over there. So what you're going to do, if you don't have this piece, then um, get one. Like I've said so many times before, just get one of these, get a whole lot of these pieces. These are very, very useful. So uh, take one of these, connect it to the small ball joint. Let's turn that like that so it can bend. Connect a three long axle. Connect a ball joint. And connect one of these connectors with the pin hole here and the axle hole here. Just like that. Then you can put a pin in there just like that. So let's uh, actually connect it here before we do anything else. And there you have it. That looks weird. So let's uh, fix that. Um, so you're going to take the Leeward printed chest piece and the Leeward green torso armor. Put that on. And then that ball joint right there, just snap it on. And put it on, or just kind of keep it on, using the pin. And yeah, that's exactly right. So you have it on right. This should form pretty much a 90 degree angle. Um, I'm trying to see, is that the right height? Because, like, thing up a bit, you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Um, I think that's right. Can I get it? Yeah, just leave it like that. Um, the second hole up, right there. That technical. And you probably shouldn't put the pin all the way in because it might, you know, bend and break. So, I'm taking it back down, set the scout to the side. And let's build him some arms in the back. Um, start here. So you're going to take one of these and put on this piece. Like that, I think. Just like that. So once you have it, I think that goes like that. Um, I don't really know. Anyway, so let's uh, build the next part. You're going to take one of these, and I've done this design before. One of these, put on a red axle, and then put on another one. Just basically a double socket, which is not like completely in line with itself. Um, build another one, just real quick. And there you go. So now you're gonna attach them to right here, and you're actually gonna put this on upside down. So attach them here so that these are on the outside, or so that it widens, I guess. And then you're going to take two more red um, axles, put them on right there, and right there, 
just like that on the top ones. And then you connect these connectors with the axle hole and the pinhole on the opposite side. So just like that and like that. And that will come into play in a second. So uh, let's see, where should we go? Alright, so take these and I use these just to add a little bit more color to the mock. If you have um, Skull Slicer, it comes with some um, trans green versions of these that kind of match with the uh, Lewa green. If you have those, I would probably use those instead. But I don't have any of those, so I'm using these. So just connect it like that, just in case you didn't see that. Basically, I'm creating the um, shoulders by using this kind of setup. Just make sure this is uh, pinned together. Um, so you're just going to snap this on here, using that center ball joint, and then snap it on there. So you have shoulders, you can kind of pull them forward and back a little, but I don't really find much use to that. So next you can attach this uh, Liwa Keto Orange, I think Keto Orange is it? Yeah, Keto Orange. Put that on the back, and then you can put on this gold bound armor plate, which is going to be kind of a tight fit. So you just have to bend the shoulders forward a bit to get it to fit on. So like that. Next, let's uh, build his uh, shoulder spike things. So you can take one of these, which is the uh, new, well, I guess not too new anymore. But uh, it's got the axle and then the two pin thing long. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. You can see it. Um, just kind of put those together. And these will hold on his shoulder spikes, just like on um, the original official build. So, some silver spikes. And uh, you want to have it like this side bending forward. So, you're going to attach those using these. You're going to go over the shoulders. So, just pull them all the way down. And the reason I'm using the longer versions instead of the uh, blue versions is because I need them for transformation. I was like this. Um, well, I mean, you'll see when I get the review, but. You know, just take my word for it for now. It's best that you have the longer ones for the transformation. So, uh, put on the body, or let's build the arms actually. So, you're gonna take one of these, just like on the legs, and attach another one of these. And I have those on so you can use the uh, adrenaline mode for Liwa. I think it's called. Um, put on the four long green armor shell. Then put on the uh, elbow thing. Then on the top, you can put this four long gold armor shell. So instead of the key to orange, it's just gold. Then a silver hand. And there's an arm. So let's build the other one. Real quick. So yeah, this mock is fairly simple. I do very much like it, especially the vehicle mode. Vehicle mode for me of this guy is just so cool. Just like that. I actually like the weapons too. They attach them at the shoulders. Like so. So there you go. Do you have it? So let's pull this back. So, just like that. <laughs> Excuse me. So, let's uh, just adjust this a little bit so it'll fit on. I think you just snap it on right here. Um, I feel like this was raised up. Hold on while I fit with this. Sorry, guys. I'm, I mean, sometimes I forget what this is supposed to be like. Okay, yeah. So, put this up nearest to this part, I guess that's what I'm saying. Move this up one technical from where I originally had it and attach it to the top of the body. If you put it down here, it would be too low. Uh, let me pull this out and make this easier. So yeah, just like that. And then you have his um, raised shoulders. So then just put this back on. And there you have Liwa basically done. But as you know, you don't put on the mask till the end. And we're not done because we haven't built him some weapons. So let's angle back down, bring in his weapons. And they're basically just these swords. Um, I'll talk more about these in the review, and you're going to probably like them more when I get to the review. Basically, you take the gunmetal gray axe piece, put on two double axle connectors. And I use the red ones because I don't have any more yellow ones. I could use gray, but I really don't want to. Plus, I, I guess the red kind of looks cooler. Or something like that. So just put on the connectors, red on top, yellow on bottom. Put on this uh, silver katana or just sword piece up on the red one. Then on the bottom, you basically just build normal Liwa handle. Put on two yellow bushings and a three long axle. So just simply like that. So now let's give them to them. 
just like that. And raising up the camera. Let's finish this off. Finally. Yeah, you're gonna be filling with those a lot. I'll talk more about that in review. And almost done. There. Now we use totally Lila. So thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe for more mock content. And I will see you guys later. Oh, my God.